Hey, 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 my name is Paul Sings and welcome to DSZ Re Amantes Amantes. Well, okay, let's listen to your plan. Simple plan. I split from Himura as we left the club. Enjoy suckering our search for Wilhelm, but I had to admit her sudden proposition shocked me. What? What did you. What? Why? We stood at the very top of the swastika at Nozumit Park. It was already past midnight and the place was closed, so lucky there were no other people around. Still, I didn't get it. Exactly. My sole objective was Wilhelm, and I had to find and pry the truth out of him as soon as possible. I had no reason to mess around with Sakurai in a place like this. What's her motive here? Seriously. Unless it will bring him here. We'd eventually clash, no doubt, but there wasn't a time for that crap now. I first had to take care of Wilhelm, then crash around the church and make sure Baldrifa wasn't going mental there too. Those two were my top priority, as getting them out of the picture would more or less liberate both Himura and Kasumi. I was planning on doing anything else until that got sorted out. I could and should ignore Sakurai, Rusalka and Sister Lisa for the time being. Wilhelm and Father Tifa were probably far more dangerous than those three anyway. だいたい。お前が俺に協力めいた真似する理由も曖昧すぎてわからないな。ビルヘルムに用があるとか言ってたが、結局うまいこと言って、この状況にするのが目的だったんじゃないのか。まあ確かに、それも完全には否定できない。
空振りした挙句に4番目が開く私としてはそうなっても別にいいわよここを自分のものにできるんだし俺に勝つこと前提かよ負けること前提で話す人はいないんでしょ<笑>実際ああ実際さあこれはスパンエミー It would be foolish of me to assume she'd play according to my rules She had the gold of her own and was merely using me I was no different. We had no reason to prioritize the other's circumstances. Wakatta. Sakura regarded me with a mocking smile. Realizing that the situation had taken an odd turn, I exhaled a deep sigh. Guess I had no choice now. I didn't feel lucky, but I had to fight her. However, if we couldn't see eye to eye anyway, I thought I might as well confirm one matter before diving headfirst into battle. Nani? Sakurai seemed all in high spirits tonight. It seemed almost like she enjoyed talking with me. Not to mention she urged me to fight with almost as sugar, sugar words. Nani ga omoshiroi? I didn't know, nor cared about what business Sakurai had with Wilhelm, but I couldn't help feeling like she was having a blast spending time with me. What the hell was that all about? Datte. Sakurai lowered her face as the tremble ran through her shoulders. And as she raised her face, I could see a broad smile plastered on her lips. Say what? About? What? <laughs> Curious? What? Curious about what? She suddenly, suddenly laughed at me, barely making a sound. <laughs> Say what? Saka formed her he he hero kane in the blink of an eye, striking me from above. With our weapons locked together, she started into my eyes before parting her lips to speak. Her voice trembled as if bursting with excitement. Well, you probably know because I'm pretty sure you were around when he answered that question. When Valeria Tarifa asked him? See, I remember stuff like that even though it was in the very beginning of the game, basically. And we skipped it in this route. I remember her asking me something like this before. What would a normal person do? I remember how I answered her before. She was correct. That was indeed what I had told her. However, Sakurai urged me to retract my words, taunting me as I remained silent, unable to open my mouth. ってみせてよ。ね、言えるなら聞かせてよ。口先だけの男じゃないって感心するから証明してよ。それがすごくとてもとても興味ある。The dead could never be brought back to life, no matter what you try to sacrifice. One could pay the price for something that was invaluable to begin with. So if there was a way to bring a treasure like that back. It would turn to us the moment you made the exchange. That was my opinion on the matter. I believe that remained unchanged to this day. So why couldn't I put my conviction towards this time? I like the strength to push her blade away. This sudden surge of excitement in her blood seemed seem to have bolstered her power to such an extent that it completely overwhelmed me. Was it really so? Was she one hand, the one who had suddenly grown stronger? Or were my doubts merely getting the better of me? I don't know how. I didn't know. I couldn't tell. I had no idea, but. I avoid to destroy all these psychos and save Himuro in the process. So I couldn't possibly allow myself to fall in a place like this. Damn. 
Body of Sakurai. A scorching heat enveloped my right arm, caused not by the burning scarlet scar blade, but the fury of my very soul. I didn't even want to know what they lost, were robbed of, or despaired over. But they capitulated at the game of life, the moment they chose to sell their souls to the devil merely to heal whatever wounds life had inflicted on them. They were all slaves to Reinhardt. Mindless skeletons blindly dancing to the tune of Memento Mori, hummed by their monster. As if trapped in a macabre dance of the dead, a miserable totem dance. I would not believe it, I could not. I simply refused to accept the ludicrous notion she, that she'd be dead. Therefore, I would not accept such a sink alliance, even if the world turned upside down. The tone of her voice implied that she, the time of her games was over. <laughs> it had insult, her blade assailed me even with more vigor than before. I of course still refused to yell. <laughs> Our screams materialized as a fierce shockwave, blasting us away from each other. I used the chance of flying debris as a scaffold to make a turn me there, beating Sakura's gaze who had done exactly the same. Her eyes burned with genuine compassion and fervor. The crime that she robbed me of my life to fulfill her own wish. Kekkyokuanatabu,人命に価値の優劣をつけている。要はこういうことでしょう。綾瀬さんは大事だけど、ヒムロ先輩を犠牲にしてまで取り戻したいほど好きじゃない。かわいそう。ああ、かわいそう
so good at running. Interesting software. That was hardly his preferred approach to battle. In fact, Digimon detested the very notion of lying in wait. Tearing through flesh, crushing bones, and buffing the blood of his prey was the one true way Wilhelm knew. He cared for no other. He would pa paint the night with blood and make it his kingdom. He would have the moon illuminate the carnage he wrote upon the mortal realm, unveiling his hegemony. Hmm. Wilhelm Ehrenburg was a vampire. Despite being a creature of the night, he harbored no love for tricks and deception. Taking knives from the shadows had never been his way. To him, death was a pleasure to be spread across the realm, blood a sweet vitier to be consumed in torrents. It all existed solely to entertain the night demon, who spread his terrible wings to lord over the crimson night. Descending upon the world as a phoenix risen from the midnight's ashes. The time drew nigh for the world to be enveloped in a sea of blood. <laughs> Countless thorns sprouted from the skin of the bees, one after another. They pulled in concord with his vines, changing their length according to his will. They were irrefutably a part of his very flesh. No other soul in this world could wield or transplant a vile thing like them into their own flesh. The beast had been the one and only rose of the demonic night, and it would drain and devour all life, till the very world turned into a crimson desert, referring to dust. <laughs> the rose launched into the sky with a maddened cackle, ready for the hunt. The blood-sucking beast saw the, yields, the fields of material battles to quench his lust for murder, to soothe his servant love. For indeed, he was the sole vampire the world had ever seen, a demon that reigned supreme in the dark of night. His fang showed mercy to none, all would crumble to dust before the beast's might. Hey! <laughs> I wanted to see the fight. Ria, despite facing the very person she came to see after the two days of being away, fell completely silent. An odd sense of guilt overcame, overcome Ria. She felt like a child who had accidentally witnessed her parents arguing. We said dismissed the priest with barely a word. It was one of the reasons Rhea felt uncomfortable. Mm. Rhea had no idea what the two were talking about. Of what she could tell, it could not have been an uplifting conversation. After all, Lisa was. Remnants of moisture tears lingered on the woman's eyelashes. One would have to be particularly demoted to believe nothing had happened. They suddenly with an amber smile. え、そうね。泣いてたわ。家で娘が戻ってきたんだもの。当然でしょ。私は今まであまりうるさいことを言ってこなかったけど、それはあなたが特に問題を起こさなかったから。I've never run away from the home, to be honest. Hmm. Ra knew that was a lie, but she still bowed her head. It might have been caused by the unexpected weariness recent in Lisa's voice. Or was it rather herself who was worn out? Ano, 
ないけど。Rather than not liking it here, Ura was too preoccupied with another place she should have been at. Ren and Kay had gone looking for Wilhelm together, and no matter how Ura looked at the two, she could not imagine them getting along. She had no idea how the two planned to achieve their goal, but leaving them alone for too long would doubtless result in a fight, Ura was sure of it. And that was the reason why she manipulated the situation, so that she The two had no choice but to cooperate. Still, Ren's safety was far from guaranteed, and even Rhea had trouble predicting how things would go from here. After all, she had already made a fatal misjudgment once before. Rhea never had much confidence in her abilities to calculate these things, and the anxiety had been her constant companion since she started the plan. She knew she could not allow herself to be hasty, yet time was of the essence. She had to make quick and efficient choices with a cool head. The girl understood full well that was a tall order for her faculties, yet she was not in a position where wailing and complaining could get her anywhere. And there was no bigger waste of time than idle doubts. Lisa Brenner was both the close person to Rahimura and the one whose heart had been completely walled off from the girls. Fuji, Ayase, and Yusa were all simple people. Kei, Wilhelm, Rusaka, and even Father Triva were still comprehensible in the sense that they were doing their own thing. What about Sir Lisa? For Rea spent close to 20 years living with the woman, yet she still felt like a relative stranger. <clears throat> Lisa was likely not trying to trick her, and Rea did not feel as if she was being played a fool. The problem lay on a whole other paradigm with Lisa's core nature. She merely lived and acted as she herself desired. Was acting her passion, or was she merely trying to escape reality? Ra did not know the whole truth, but there was one thing she could proclaim without a shred of doubt. Lisa was my best Whoops, I dropped the pen and it clicked the button. God damn it. Not good. Anywho, and so Ra figured that Lisa would be the one capable of revealing the most to her. If only she managed to peek inside her mind, she might find a hint as to how to find this dreadful situation. What the hell? Now that didn't I do? What the hell, the game? Stop! Okay. What? What the hell is going on? Ghosts? Oh, come on, game! Okay, what the hell is going on? Wait, did I freaking actually... I didn't turn on the auto. Okay, I don't know what's going on, to be honest. Uh, you know, if she managed to speak inside her mind, she might find a hint as to how to fight this dreadful situation. Ra placed her bet on the woman, uh, half praying for success. Lisa offered her seat once again, this time with an emotionless voice. Did she feel nothing? Or was she trying to suppress her feelings? Lisa's voice wasn't necessarily stern, but he had a certain air of authority. The truck could not help but reluctantly obey. In the case, it did not seem like they would get anywhere until she took that seat. Strength at the dance attire, Ra formed her first question. There was one thing she had to know before starting the interrogation. A question that addressed the most deep rooted problem of them all and would cause a chain reaction once answered. It would prove she was no normal human being and become a key to peeling her mask off. I know, right? She's a beauty, let's face it. 
Misa made a troubled face and, in the fashion of completely normal woman, he's dating to answer an uncomfortable question part of her lips. Well, you would be over 100 years now. And with no more surprising abruptness, revealed her abnormality. I'd date a hundred year old woman if she looked like that. <laughs> if it was an old hack, definitely not. Ugh. Ugh, okay, even the thought made me shiver. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. なちしたったの。え。レーベンスボルン機関って言ってね。ありてに言えば、候補支援みたいなところの出身よ。国家の血を絶やさないように子供を産んで、そして育てて、次の時代に送り出す。女なら誰でもやっていることでしょ? Well, almost any, I guess. あなたの生まれはそこになるわ。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そ
基本黙ってるから。いろいろ話してくれると助かるな。いろいろっていろいろはいろいろだよ。いつ、どこで、何があって、どうして、今のリザになった経緯、動機とか、もろもろ。あんまり好きな言葉じゃないけど、私には知る権利があるって思わないまあね。じゃあ話して。Lisa fixed her eyes on the ceiling, h e x i l i n g a s i d e It appeared she was considering where to begin her story. まさか、昔すぎて忘れちゃってるわけじゃないよね。それこそ、まさかよ。何年経っても、忘れられないことはある。ただ、そうね。その前に一つ聞きたい。レアは、そう、私たちの目的っていうか、黄金錬成の意味を分かってるの。マレウスから聞いてる。あの覚醒器。<笑>でも、それとは別に、なんとなくだけど分かってたよ。特にこの一週間くらいで。妙な気分になることがあるの。妙って私が私じゃないような。As if someone else had been using her eyes and ears. As if she had been looking at someone else's memories. A sensation of being two and the same time. This seemed to freeze for a few seconds. ね、As the woman nodded, Ra proceeded to confess what she already knew. Ogon to a fumets no koto. Tsumari. 死なない生き物になること。Well, we'll see if it's invincible. そして、死んだ人を生き返らせること。Well, we'll see about that. That was the ultimate goal of those currently wrecking havoc across town. リザは多分、後者かな。桜井さんなんかも同じっぽい。とにかくあなたたちはそれが欲しくて、いろいろやってる。要は、交換なんでしょ返して欲しい誰かがいるから、代わりに捧げる者がいる。リザが誰をっていうのはひとまず置いて、とにかく天秤なんだよね。欲しいものがとても重たいから、釣り合うように積み上げる。私。In short, a way for her life was light compared to life Lisa wished for the barter would not make stands otherwise. 10日交換。Of all human lives should have been equal, their value would differ depending on who was waving the scales. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Even Ra's jest had been devised to scoop out a detailed truth about her foster parents she might have missed. I don't think Liza was wrong or wrong. I don't think Liza was 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 wrong. If Ra offered the chance to restart everything from scratch, she'd accept it. If she lost something dear to her, she would do everything in her power to reclaim it. The girl understood the feeling with almost painful clarity, for it was not a seldom guest to her own heart. Navy ideals had no place between the two. What did she lose? What was she trying to bring back? And to that earnest question. Word after word, Lisa began to weave the tale of her past. もう七十年以上前になる。私が、今のあなたと同じくらいの年頃で、まあ、要するに、学生みたいなものだった時。へ、huh? なんだか無視できない友達がいてね。友達そう。とは言っても、あなたにとっての藤井くんとか、綾瀬さんとか、そういう関係じゃなかったわよ。あれはもっとこう。なんていうのかな犬猿腐れん
いや違うな。喧嘩した記憶しかないんだけど、お互いにいなくなると張りがなくなるみたいな。I'm not talking about Zami, right? 強敵と書いて、とも。あ<笑>、それ面白い表現ね。そんな感じに近いかもしれない。It's an old girl eyes reminiscing about the past. That expression made her look surprisingly young. God damn it, she looks young all the time. This was most likely how she looked like during her golden years. とにかく、その友達とは喧嘩ばかりでね。何かにつけて争ったと思う。Okay, that was not Samuel. どっちが早起きできるかなんてことまで。しまいには彼女。丸5日くらい不眠不休になっちゃってそれでも日々の課題は完璧にこなしててどうだ貴様とは鍛え方が違うのだとかねさすがにこれは頭がおかしい人だと呆きれたわ I think I more or less know what, he, who, what who's she talking about I don't remember the name but I get the feeling that I know who it is about 私はそんな彼女が苦手だったけど真から嫌いなわけでもなくて。多分、負けたくなかったんだろうな。単純なライバル心ともちょっと違って、ただ競い合いを続けたかったというか。くだらないことで、いつまでも争う日々が悪くなかった。うん。それを続けていたいと思ったのよ。だから私は、彼女と常に並ばないといけない。引き離されたら競えないから。走って、走って。お互い子供じゃなくなって。気づけば、遊びじゃ済まされないところに、足を踏み入れてしまっていた。それが、ええ、ナチスよ。Germany, as well as the state of the world in that age, Ra only knew of it from textbooks, but she could nonetheless imagine it. If two students had been competing, the point where the rivalry bordered or the oaks through ordinary society would not turn a blind eye. And so the stage for the rivalry change, elevated to never before seen haves, brought ever, ever closer to the core, they had to keep marching onwards, beyond the point of no return, shouldering a colossal responsibility that could no longer be cast aside. じっさい戦争も始まったしね。言い訳をするつもりはないんだけど、自分にできることをやらないわけにはいかないでしょ。立場があり、責任がある。国が勝とうが負けようが、自分に迷惑がかからなければどうでもいいよって、そういう考え、
Oh, whoa, 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 wait a second. Are we talking about the woman that was a Valkyrie before Beatrice? Right? Or it was Beatrice all the time. Confused. だから当時としては本当に蹴うちゃんと育てるシステムも怪しいし周囲の理解なんかないに等しい全裸フリーもいいけれど適材適所の意味を履き違えちゃダメよそういう意味で例の友達はまさに能力的な適材適所を体現してい
。え Also, now that I think about it, about children also on, on,、uh, over here, she, she said she can't have any more children, right? Isn't it kinda. kinda good? I mean, despite them not aging, some of the processes end up anyway. And yeah. そしてみんな私の育て方が悪くて死んじゃったオーディラヘドレヘッドプサイヒチューデンヘルセフジャスライクデルウェルスクワンスオブチルドソージャスインディアーミーソードオーダーフィールドベネフィットフォンチューデンビングクリエイトスペシフィクリフォーデンデスウェルエクルゲットファンドウィデルフィーチャークラフトデベタデイデオスリムーフクセルテンシャクルズリミティングワンスブレインドゥドゥディスデイウッフィールデチルドレンスマインスウィフインフォーメーションドリンクエンインプレッショナブルエイジウェンデルコンビクションズエンコンセンスヘディエットデベロップイフユトウトチャールデイトウォスポスウトレイセクハクウィヴァウヘンツデウッブリヴィットエンクリアウデフィットウィヴァウトシュレットダウトヘシテーションエンゴッドデメッデッツクールメディノッデスホールプロセスバッイフユクドゥデッツオーマイガッデウッビアマイジング But that meant opening brain channels that regular people never used, and more often than not let the children's minds to overheat. The same way one could tear their muscles when infused with too much adrenaline, one could also fry their brains and end up a vegetable or even dead. But yeah, no matter how you look at it, I think if I'm correct here, the younger you are, the easier for you is it is to gain some knowledge, right? I guess it's like that with languages and such. And also, you kind of have more excitement to learn stuff like that than later. For example, now I don't really feel any excitement if I have to learn anything and such, which is quite, quite bad. But in the past, let's go! <sighs> Choosing to serve her country as woman, she reared its children. Yet that only resulted in making the Sabrina the most weak woman of them all in the eyes of the world. No others murdered as many children as she did. So that was your regret? Eh? That was my sin. Her one and only wish was to save the children that her actions cast into the flames. A desire she craved enough to even sacrifice her last life to see it fulfilled. So. And so, of course, she notices yet another contradiction. Or maybe just daughter. Silence could only mean confirmation. Rao went on. She murdered countless children. それを償おうっていうのに、私を殺しちゃったら矛盾だよ。だから少なくともリザにとっては、そのことが食材にならないといけない。リザ wished for death to be freed from the sin of having massacred the children of the mothers, and to do that she had to sacrifice her own blood. He sure to put her own lineage to death, and to suffer the agony of a just punishment. Ah, but if that was true, it would make her such a diligent and clumsy woman, the most unfortunate case of wasted effort in the world. The faintest and most ephemeral of smiles had been plastered on Rea's lips in that moment. <laughs> Lisa could no longer bear the girl's gaze. <laughs> her voice burst out with the intensity of a shriek. She jumped up from her chair, almost collapsing on the ground, and covered her face to escape Rea's eyes. Yet failed to hide the tears gushing out through the spaces between her fingers. <laughs> It 
It would have made more sense if she called her witch or a helpless fool. This would have been able to bear any scornful or contemptuous remarks. But what on earth was this? Why did the girl regard her, a fool who sold her soul to the devil, with the compassionate eyes of a saint? あなたは本音だよ。ねえ、リサ。私よくわかんないんだけど。That was why she made stupid mistakes. Her outlook was too narrow, her mind too stubborn. I would never want to think in only ones and zeros. Huh. Otherwise, how could she probably listen to the words of other people? This replied with her voice. Yep。The sun revelation rendered Ra speechless for a split second. Eh? Eh? Siblings? What was that supposed to mean? Right, you have to ask about that name. あなたはイザークの孫よ。で、食材がどうとかを大外れよ。Johan was alive. That was the reason Rusalka changed her attitude the moment she heard the priest's words. The sacrificial bloodline lived on, even without Ra's involvement. そのあとは一切あっても for if the girl didn't, the woman would find herself unable to cast her off. So, Yokata. Lisa mo chanto o kasan da tanda ne. Receiving an unexpected answer, Lisa found herself at a loss for words. Too rare, however, it was far from unexpected. Her lousy attempt to play the villain was so cheesy it failed before ever reaching the girl. Rather, the more weak she tried to appear, the more she looked like a wailing child. <laughs> 
Lisa leaned against the wall, seemingly worn out, and shuddered a few times, not from tears but from finding the situation almost comical at this point. Lisa gave her a in what way look, to which Rama pressed her palms against her breast and said the following in the most serious of tones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Lisa got what she no he or bad chan. The you got to a cocoon in the game of potential that's not the canoe say that. Oh my god, she's the best. リザがそんな消しからん感じに育ったのよ。何歳くらいの時。もうストップ、ウォーマン。ああ、イエス、ユキンヒルドスクリーチャーズビングメイド。ね。イトクアバウト 聞かない方がいいと思うわ。And まあ、ビーカップじゃ、物足りないような態度は前に取られたから。へいへいへい、で、へいでダーズインプライデッド。Come on. Come on, then, even her briefing, this was part of the direction Ra aimed for, but she was glad to have been able to lighten the mood, at least. Although the answer she received disappointed her greatly. Lisa gave the girl one of her genuine smiles, as the latter was busy staring at the ground with the world had just ended sort of look. There was, of course, only one answer to her question. She merely wished for him to survive and not get hurt if possible. But I can't do anything to do with it. 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 そう相手を罠にかけて引きずり下ろすのは実際彼女の18番。あなたのシナリオだと私は誰に殺される予定なのそこまで考えてないよ。ていうか今までの話の流れでどうしてそういうことになるのよ。ラクドンドリンカーさ
that Ellen was true and would never change. Her motivations notwithstanding, Lisa Brenner had most certainly brightened Ra's life up until this point, and no matter what happened, the girl's opinion on that would not change. She had fun and never felt lonely. That was the unshakable truth of the matter. Lisa, what was that? Did she wish for the girl to die and now it with the whole act? This remained silent, although for some inexplicable reason her eyes had been fixed on the wine glass atop the table. The lonely silence persisted for a dozen or so seconds. Then suddenly... Although she still hadn't answered the girl's question. ね。交渉の基本はね。相手を本位させる条件を出すことなの。私が望みを捨てる代わりにあなたは何かくれるというの。私の子供を一番最初に抱かせてあげる。うん。名前も決めてよ。そして今度こそちゃんと愛して。Not bad, I guess. それはまた。Was she getting a bit ahead of herself? 相手は藤井君。その予定だけど。<笑>なんで彼のことがそんなにいいの？なんでって言われても。To tell the truth, she did not know, and that means the feeling is true. Damn it! That's my opinion. Why do I like her? God damn it! I love her. That's the true love. Sorry, I don't know why I just do, right? But that's just my opinion. It was true that she thought his face cute, and that his behavior triggered more early instincts in her. But she could not pinpoint what exactly made her fall for him. <laughs> What was that supposed to mean? Isa, however, did not return Ras' confused look and instead kept staring at the wine glass. And suddenly... Lisa began speaking about something seemingly completely unrelated. ここで実演する気はないけれど、まあ、とにかくそういうことができると思って。いつも死人のことばかり考えてたから、一種の業みたいなものなんでしょうね。She, she loved the dead and wished to re overturn death. All the comrades she lost in the world of war here broken of other land as well as all the children she her herself led to death. Hirugaiseba, and that's the word I need to freaking search because I have no idea what an embalmer is. M bal It's the art and science of preserving human remains by treating them to forestall decomposition. Okay. Now I know. Her voice wavered, a hint of self scorn and anger mixed in it. Who are you talking about now? Yes! Probably. Russ said nothing. Her original question had been dodged, yet she could not find it in herself to interrupt Lisa. Her sixth sense told her that it was incredibly important, something pertaining to the very core of things. That's not true. She could only embrace the dead. Hmm? 
そう言われてね実行したのが1942年6月の出来事これは当の本人も知らない There was something very odd about Lisa's story. She said she could only love and hold the dead. As such, the father of Isaac and Johan could not have been among the living, yet she spoke of him as if he was still alive. Isaac was a normal five years old. When he was in the middle of the night, he was born for a few months. What? He was born for a few months. He was born for a few months. He was born for a few months. カール・クラフトが道を示してからちょうどきっかり1年後成果は出たわそして同時に後悔した For during that time she had a chance to glance back at the path she had taken She gave birth just like everyone wished Do the monster everyone hoped for 私が望んでいたのはこれか She spat the line as if vomiting blood. A physical embodiment of her sins, her pack with the devil. Rasa and covered her mouth with her hands. Kare and Karl Kraft were in the same way. Eh? So, you are in the same way. Oh, I see. Wait a second. Wait. Oh, shit. I know what she's going at. That was what scared her. She could not suppress her trepidation, unable to shake the suspicion that the attraction of the two had been related to the fact. Could she still proudly claim to love Renfuji? Could she still show them the loser supplied the dazzling spark of her unbending will? Rah hit the table with her face and jumped to her feet. Atashino kimochi wa atashino mono da yo. Chaban no nani ga warui te itta janai. Lisa ga dou yu kimochi de seshite ite mo. Nande Fuji kun ga suki na no ka wakara na kute mo. Atashi ga kanji te ru honto no koto wa koko ni aru mo. Ita to chigatte usui kara itsu de mo shikkari wakatte ru. She had to say that she. Mata sono hanashi na no. B には B の良さがあるって、藤井くんに教え込むから気にしないことにした。After all, she was certain that physical matters could never become a significant hurdle in their relationship. 私の血筋がどうだとか、それは確かにショックだけど、そんなの結局、おっぱい大きいとか小さいとかと変わらない問題だよ。There she goes again. むしろ私。ロミオとジュレットみたいで燃えてきたね。There was a hint of denial in her tone. After all, one one could remain completely calm after learning the truth <coughs> like that about themselves. In fact, her emotions had been all riled up. She was at the threshold of a complete identity crisis. Fujikun にも選ぶ権利はあるんじゃない。No, he does not. <laughs> うるさいの。私がおむこさんにするって決めたんだからそれでいいの。Woo! Yup, he has nothing to say about that here. Rocky the table again. Lisa caught the wine glass as it was about to fall off. Ne. Takara, ii kage ni kotaete yo. Lisa wa watashi to ite dou datta no? The answer did not come. But Lisa gave her a straight hard look. She was no longer trying to run. It would have been easy to look away. It would have been easy to break the girl, seeing how she had just been thrust onto unstable ground. She might have been putting on the fact, but she was still a child. While Lisa was hardly among the strongest people around, she had seen enough help for the girl to appear as vulnerable as a naive baby. After all, destroying children was Lisa Brenner's bread and butter. However, so, 
This is Lips Card to an Empress, she had barely noticeable smile. Yes! She admitted that yes! And then, with a broad grin on her face, she finished her wine and tossed the glass to the ground, shattering it to pieces. The next one screamed reverberated across the room in its wake the entire chairs roared and trembled as if hit by a sudden earthquake. The floor and the walls cracked open and the ceiling collapsed with an explosion filling the room with a rain of debris and dust. Woo! In contrast to Ralph's bewilderment, Lisa exuded an air of self condensed almost as she was an empress, and the unfolding chaos merely existed to self her. She gave the empty space a sharp look in an apparent declaration of war. The arms wrapped around her shoulders were both incredibly strong and soothing soft. The girl made out a violent yet warm face through the amount of dust, the face of her mother. The magnanimity and benevolence it contained drove her to the verge of tears. And so that was what people called relief! The meaning of her words and the fact she has used plural. Woo! Happiness and relief filled her heart to the rain. She felt like an entire army had just come to her age. Hey, so this me. Mohaya Kona Tewa Atoni Shikenu. Oh boy, I was waiting for that! Triff Atu uttered his words while looking deep into the sky. It seemed as if his gaze had pierced the dark canopy above, glaring at whatever horrors had been lurking beyond its veil. A fissure drawn across the priest's cheeks as his blue pair of eyes fell shut. Never to be opened again, the divine result that tongue will prove of his oath to be him began to waver. His very craving had been on the verge of collapse, but at the same time the phenomenon came as a divine blessing. <laughs> Holy shit! The army turns into the good army! Rosalka's meddling led Trifa to discover a path that would allow him to at long last be reborn as a true swan. Ruska had just finished swallowing her hospital in her shadow when an ominous feeling suddenly made her toss her head up and glare at the sky. It felt as if something inconceivable had been trying to break through the dark canopy. It wouldn't change that merely opening for Swastika could have brought about. She knew the feeling, she knew it better than anybody else. The very same hell they had vanished into the nether after its world barely in the Velta giving home to millions of Ankaria was about to descend upon the world! Purple, palpable killing tent and jubilation filled the air, the world is of sound, the hegemony of destruction. So basically, so basically the swastika is bullshit? It had been planned to swallow everyone from the very start. Such was the complete truth behind the transmutation of gold. Now you realize that? <laughs> A bit yes, Rusalka, but now we are on the same side! Right? How could she not realize something so obvious? I think I no longer dislike her. And so he wished to bestow upon them a field of battle where they could massacre each other. Eternally, for all time to come. To make them all join hands in the dance of death as perfect equals. <laughs> exactly! Rusaka glared the Dominus void with murderous contempt. That's right, I'm with you. She was the only one with the right to do that. She would never be drowned in filth again, even if it killed her. Sakie, <laughs> 
can see it! The things crawling up on the earth would never deserve their grace. Instead, they would soar the high heavens, blanketing the air below with their shadow. A flock of terrible godbirds could come be with their golden wings abreast. No stars in the sky could understand the feelings of one dropped upon the ground. They beguiled her with their sparkling colors, they made her fall in love with their luster, they made her spend countless years chasing after them in vain, a Sisyphean effort for someone who possessed no wings. Oh yeah, that guy from Greek mythology. Therefore, she would catch up to them all one day. Well, that day has to be like right now, huh? For them to claim she could never reach anything or anyone, Rosaka wanted to hear none of it. I know! You will get your ass kicked! The man of the golden locks could hear the increasing beating of his heart. He felt blood course fiercely through his veins. A bath cry born from the core of his soul shook the realm with fervor, enough to make it tremble to its very foundations. その愛絶、その皮膚、そして閃光のような情熱よ。ああ、甘いぞ。けら英雄の資格あり。ディエスイレの先輩たるにふさわしい。ブリンゲドン。なあ、そうであろう。イザーク。え。でゴールドコンティ